Good morning, everyone. Uh, Kristen and Adam here. We are over at the Disney Boardwalk uh, to go for a little test run this morning um, with a number of different um, athletic-style yeah. running face coverings. Yes, so we know that um, Princess uh, Race Weekend for Run Disney is coming up, and uh, a lot of you will be here on property, maybe somewhere where you're staying, um, and you will have to wear some kind of a face covering to run. So what we did is we thought we'd get a couple of different kinds, right, Kristen? Yeah, and it's not just about Disney. I know there's people who are gonna watch who are just doing live races that are gonna need some sort of face covering, um, maybe to start or maybe to end, and or even athletics uh, that you might participate in that are not necessarily running, and uh, how will these best help you? Yeah, exactly. So we figured we'd do one loop around the boardwalk um, in each of our three different um, kind of uh, athletic sport masks that we have, um, and we'll give you a review and let us know, we'll let you know what we think um, works the best, um, you know, uh, what's easiest to breathe in, um, what material is right. Um, so we figured we would start with one that we've used before, which is um, the Under Armour mm -hmm. um, athletic mask. Now we just picked these up at our Under Armour outlet store. Yep. Um, you can get them online. They were a little pricey. They were what? Uh, they were about 20 25 and yeah uh, but they do help you kind of measure your face yeah and we do have uh, a video that's more extensively discussing it yeah exactly we'll put um, the link card for that here but we do have an entire video just about these under armor masks um they're a little bit heavier they're a little bit bigger um but they do kind of puff out in the front to uh give you a little bit more room um to breathe while you're exercising so um, we figured we'd start with that one, right, Kristen? I think that's a great idea. I haven't worn mine in a while uh, just because it is a thicker mask. Uh, so this will be a great reminder and comparison to now try it at the same time with some others. Yes, um, and I would like to mention um, that it is a little bit cooler of a day out today. Yeah, the it's sun about 65. The sun is shining pretty brightly here in Florida, but um, it's not the 90 degrees that we're used to. No, it's not a 90 degree day. So uh, we're going to switch it up and put these on uh, and go for a little bit of a test run. So the first uh, uh, mask we're starting with, this Under Armour mask, um, as you can see, it just has some um, some ear straps that just go right around your ears. Uh, they're like fabric, like um, uh, some kind Athletic. of athletic. Athletic um, stretchy. Water stretchy. Yeah, yeah. So um, the inside here, if you can see it, um, it's uh, it's padded um, around the mouth and nose, and it does have kind of like an underwire um, that kind of runs um, along the nose, along the nose, uh, and the chin as well. One on the top and the bottom. Okay, so here we are on the boardwalk, and. At this point, we're going to switch out of our Wish Upon a Run masks mm -hmm. and uh, put these on. You want to go first, Kristen? Sure. All right. Okay. So, actually, because these are by person, mm -hmm. this one's not mine. <laughs> this oh. is yours. Oh, there you go. That's so, mine. there you go. Yeah, so note that, mm -hmm. that they, um, they help you and they fit you. And so, this one was uh, more along my size. So, there you go, and it just yeah. straps right around the ears. And you can pinch this or make it tighter or more loose. How does it feel? See, this is what Adam was talking about. It it like pokes out a little bit more so you can, it's not so tight on your face. So probably if you're sweating, it's not gonna be so heavy on you. But when we tried this in 90 degree weather, uh, these were these were a little rough for me because yeah. they're real thick. Yeah. So we'll see today that it's only 60, 65, if it's any better. Feels good. It actually works pretty good with these glasses. The um, the wire kind of goes under the glasses, the frames of the glasses. So mm -hmm. um, we'll see. It feels a little uh, loose, like mm -hmm. it could slip down a little bit. But um, let's try it out.
All right, so we're about 0.8 miles in. We're almost one loop around. Um, what are your thoughts? It's still pretty heavy. Yeah, it's real compared heavy. Compared to other masks that I've seen. Do you, I feel very safe. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like no, nothing's getting through this mask. No, it's like triple layer. And um, nothing, none of the things that I breathe is getting out. That's for sure. No, nothing's getting in, nothing's getting out. It's very, very safe. <laughs> um, it did stay on my face. It did. It's very yeah. comfortable. You know yeah. what I love about it? It is super comfortable. My ears don't hurt. And yeah. even like... You're right, it doesn't hurt the ears. Head yeah. Or um, look around or something. Or even because we have glasses on right now. Mm -hmm. um, the loops don't bother. The glasses? The glasses or make it hurt on my ears. Um, yeah, so I felt like it was very soft on the ears. The only problem I did have is it number one it feels very warm mm -hmm. uh it keeps the heat in mm -hmm. um to your face uh and so if it's a hot day in florida that's going to be an issue um also the glasses i couldn't wear my sunglasses because it fogged them up but that's i think any mask that's that, it, kind of everything yeah, yeah. that's kind of every mask that i've worn now um we'll do a comparative rating when we're done so let's um let's change them out yeah let's change them out and go for the next one all right, so the next um, mask that we're trying out is actually uh, made by ASICS, um, and it is their uh, runner's face cover. So this is actually designed for running, right, Kristen? So, That's what we read. Mm -hmm. And you can see on there, it is a little pricey. Um, they're selling them in their stores for $40. Now, you I was- get discounts. Yeah, I was actually able to get it for uh, about $25 online. Mm -hmm. um, so this is just their probably suggested retail price. Um, so you can find them online for a little bit cheaper. I thought that was pretty expensive, mm -hmm. but let's take a look at it, Kristen. So let me hold it up a little bit so you mm -hmm. can see. It does have through. some like some mesh. Yep. On the inside. Uh, and it looks like a, some nice adjustable... It kind adjustable, of goes around your head. Yeah, adjustable straps here. I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. It goes around your whole head. All right, well, you want to try um, switching out here? Yeah, let's try this. Okay. Ooh. See, I'm a little sweaty from You're that other sweaty. mask. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's put this down. So it's very sturdy. It's yeah. very... Uh, it doesn't have a lot of flexibility. It's very um, rigid. rigid. Yeah, yeah, it's probably a good word for mm -hmm. it. See, so the strap goes up all the way around. Uh, so any girls with ponytails will already be a little uh, skeptical of this. Okay. <laughs> Let's see uh, back here. So, I, it's taking me a bit to figure this out. Yeah, and it looks like it's getting messed up in your glasses just a little bit. Yeah. So it is adjustable, which is fine. Um, it goes around your ears here mm -hmm. hmm. and then has that adjustable strap hmm. what yeah you, what, I, what's your initial impression initially because i'm a girl who puts my hair in a ponytail yeah i'm already a little not thrilled with this so now if you see on the bottom here if you lift your chin up it does have a small portion of like mesh mm -hmm. on the bottom here um but that isn't a vent um, it's just on the bottom where your chin is. So I know that Disney doesn't allow vent masks and that's definitely not a vent. It's just a, it's like a mesh uh, chin strap. I don't know if that's to make it more comfortable, maybe mm. to keep uh, moisture from yeah. staying on the mask maybe perhaps. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I'm not we'll sure. See. Yeah, we'll see about this. Okay. I don't well, know I'm what gonna I hand you the camera think already. I'm going to uh, try mine on. Okay. Sorry, I'm still like adjusting still it. Still adjusting? It's, it's hitting. It's really pulling on my ears. Really? Huh. Okay. Okay, well you try and then we'll figure okay. it out. <laughs> All right, let me try mine here. So it is sealed in its nice own little pouch here. And it is uh, one size, um, is what they said. So there are some little, um, other little adjustable uh, rubber spacers here. I don't know what that's about. So we'll switch these out here and tighten it up. And yeah, it does try to go around your, well, mine, 
Well, you I put like yours underneath your ear. Under, underneath. So maybe I should try that. But mine started falling down, so yeah. I put it up above my ear. Yeah, I wonder what feels more comfortable. Uh, yeah, that's definitely not comfortable. It's not. Yeah, yeah, definitely below the ear is going to be where I'm going to wear it. Yeah. Um, and then the um, the strap kind of hits at your neck instead of the back of your head. Yeah, so I'm going to give that a shot. All right, are Let's you see. ready? Yeah. All right, let's. Uh, we're going to do another loop here around mm. the boardwalk this and try try this out. Uh, yeah, this should be interesting. Um, these, like I said, were made specifically by Asics for running, and they do they do puff out in the front. Yeah. Um, I, it feels very easy to breathe right now. Um, yeah. I I mean it feels. I don't know if I'm gonna how this is gonna work for me. We'll see. All right. Well, let's go. Okay. Okay, so one more loop done with the Asics um, made for running uh, face covering. Yeah. Uh, what did you think? Comfortability factor. I just, I'm really struggling with these straps. Like, they're really bothering me. Yeah, they're big. Um, well, and they're not, there's no good way to me to put them around my ear. That was painful. Yeah. Uh, and around the back of me. I really am struggling with that. But I can breathe much easier. I was just this. gonna say, comfortability factor, I liked the Under Armour ones, the first one's better. Breathability, this, this is, is great. much better. Yeah. Um, I, I hate to say it, but I barely feel like I'm wearing a face covering. Yeah. I like that this one is much more firm and um, I intentionally, because we mentioned that it's only 60-65, I would normally not run in long sleeves, but I left it on so I would get real hot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Intentionally. Yeah. And so I knew I was going to work up a sweat. And I I feel like even though I was trying to work hard and, and breathe in this, I could breathe easily. Yeah, I feel like... I didn't feel like any sweat or, or hot breathing. No, it doesn't, doesn't feel hot. It doesn't feel it hot. It wasn't sticking. Uh, my glasses still fogged up. Um, it definitely puts a lot of uh, tension on the bridge of your nose. Is, and the back of my neck. Um, I didn't feel it so much on the back of my neck, but the bridge of my nose for sure. Um, if I had to pick between the Under Armour and these, I think I would pick this one. I, yeah, I agree. Um, over the Under Armour, just because the Under Armour is kind of heavy. Yeah. Um, but I could, I could fix the straps. You can fix them in different ways. For, to make it more comfortable for you. Yeah. You can't fix the thickness. Right, right. Oh, like right now, you can see there's a, a breeze right uh -huh. here. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's going through the mask and it's great. And I think that's because it has kind of a, a like that mesh on the bottom, I think. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so it's, it's, it's easier to breathe in, but um, yeah, the straps are, are a bit much. They're intense, right? Yeah. Okay, so we have one, um, set of masks left that we're going to try. Um, let's pull those out and I'll show them to you real quick. Okay, so here is our last set of face coverings. Now these are the Under Armour, uh, I'm sorry, these are the Asics face cover logo. So these are just kind of their generic um, Asics cloth, cloth um, face cover. And if Fine. you look here, they were only $9. So they were super, um, cheap in comparison to the $40 um, yeah. price tag of the one we have on right now. So uh, it looks kind of like your generic, um, just general face covering. It does have, um, it uh, looks like a wire on It has like a wire, like plastic yeah. to puff it out a little bit. Yeah. And definitely different uh, layers yep, here. Yep, double layered. Um, and just your normal, looks like elastic um, ear strap, but it is not cotton. No, it is not. It's it is more not. of a athletic material. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think it'll hold um, uh, sweat like the cloth well, Disney ones. All right, ugh. a little tough getting that other one on. Yeah. 
It's not ideal. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Oh, this is really comfortable. Is it? It is really comfortable, yeah. That's kind of what I thought. And yeah, and it it bows out because there's like a plastic liner right uh -huh. here. Yep. Mm -hmm. So when you breathe, and we've run in masks before, sometimes there are, if you just choose a, a typical cloth mask, you can see it a little bit. You can like breathe it in when you're running, but this, you won't have that because this is pushed out right here. All right, I'm gonna hand you the camera. I'm gonna get mine on. Okay. Go. Take this one off. Slide this guy on. This is the right direction, right? Yep. Oh yeah, that does feel very comfortable. It's it's not it's as light hefty. On your face. It's light. These these are they're bigger. Um, Okay, so my glasses are fogging up again, but that's to be expected. I think that's everybody. Yeah, you oh, know, they, these feel pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm trying to describe it to a, a, like a regular cloth face covering, and I, I feel mm -hmm. like this feels better than that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, should we give this a shot and yeah. run a little bit with these? All right. So that was our final loop um, with the um, kind of standard ASICS face covering, I guess. Yeah. Um, it doesn't even really say that these are made specifically for running, but they are by a running company. Um, I so think that they put some thought into these, I, looking at the material I really and think the design. That they do. I, I really like the bowed out front. Yeah. Um, it, it gives you the light simplicity of just um, the simple mask that you'll buy at the at the drugstore, yeah. um, but it it puffs out a little bit to let you breathe um, in and out if you're if you're working out a little bit better, right? Yeah, I mean yeah. masks are never ideal when running. It just is difficult. But if I was going on a longer run, we'll just say over six miles. Right. Um, I could we I could do it. I yeah. Think I think that in the right condition, I could wear this long term. And I and when I say that, I mean not run, you know, run a mile, pull it down in between people uh -huh. and then pull it up. A lot of people are doing that. I think I could genuinely actually just wear it and leave it. Yeah, I think I could too. Um, I think crazy enough out of the three different sets we tried, this was the cheapest. Um, and this is the one that I like the best. I feel like it's the most comfortable. Yeah. Um, now, having said that, it it does have a material that may um, hold in uh, sweat and moisture a little bit. Mm -hmm. So if you are planning on doing a long run with them, I would say get a couple and they are yeah. cheap. Um, it would be nice to have a dry one to start over after six yeah. miles or something, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Well, even at $9, usually you can find some sort of discounts percentage off at some point. But yeah, even at $9, I think I would rather wear two of these, change it out. Yeah, and $9 is full price. I don't think I paid full price. Um, I bought these off the ASICS website, just ASICS.com. And we have seen them if you have an outlet mall near yes. you. Yes, yes. Uh, the ASICS store does usually are in the outlet malls mm -hmm. and yeah. you can find them there. So if you are coming to Orlando and to the Disney area to do your princess virtuals, we got all these masks locally. Uh, we got them at the um, Prime Outlets um, uh, right on I Drive. Uh, we got the Under Armour ones at the Under Armour Outlet there. Um, and the ASICS ones are available um, at the ASICS Outlet Store um, at the Outlet Mall. So uh, you can pick them up. But like I said, they were a lot cheaper online. Yeah. And you do have some time left to be able to do that. So uh, we just really wanted to give you some good options um, because we know that- Lots of races are coming up. Lots of races are coming up, not just ones here at Disney. Um, well, and really the ones here at Disney are just virtual if you're here for the weekend and want to do your virtual race here um, and you do have to wear one of these. So we wanted to help you guys out, give you a little insight. On three what, great options. Three great options. Uh, Kristen, if you had to say, uh, rank, rank them in order. 
what would you do? These are definitely number one. Okay. Uh, number two, I would say the other Asics. The other Asics made yeah. for running? Even though I really, really disliked the stretch bands on the side, I feel like I could adjust them or fix them. Yeah, these these feel comfortable. These guys the, are on the ear. I didn't mention that. These the feel The Under Armour are great. I will wear them to the theme parks. I feel they're very safe in that capacity, but they're just too thick and I, I can't run and literally not be able to breathe. It's yeah. too much for me, even in the cooler weather right now. Yeah, um, and also as we've always said, so we bought these, just these white um, cloth um, uh, face coverings that we got from uh, an online website that mm -hmm. we put our, our logo on actually, but mm -hmm. um, these have been some of the greatest ones for running too. Yeah, and um, we because, changed them out though. Yeah, we'll bring five or six of them so that uh, we can change them out every once in a while because they do, um, they, they do hold in the moisture and the sweat. Yeah. Um, it'll, it'll, it'll build up. Mm -hmm. um, all right, well, thank you guys so much for watching and we hope that we gave you just a little bit of insight um, and some forethought into what you guys are thinking for doing your um, live runs or your virtual runs uh, if you have to wear a face covering. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please, uh, if you have any other different face coverings that you think that you've used for running that are great, please comment below. We'd love to hear about it. We'd yeah, love to try, we'll try them out. try out your suggestion. We would love to try them out. So thank you so much for that. I am going to leave a link in the description here for where to get these ASICS masks uh, or where I bought them from. Uh, so if you are interested, you can check that out. Otherwise, please hit that subscribe button. We are going to go get some coffee and some breakfast over at the tra Trattoria here yeah. at the boardwalk. Uh, and then we might go into Epcot for a second. Yep, yeah, so see you in our next video. Bye guys. Tell you what everybody, this pressed pot coffee from the Trattoria is amazing.